Hello Cancerians, welcome to your horoscope for January 2024. So on the second of the month we do have Mercury which is moving direct and that is going to be moving direct in your sixth house, the house of health. And then on the fifth we have Mars which will be going into your seventh house, the house of relationships. Uh, this could be more motivated to like do more relationships it could be frustration and you know a bit of arguments too in this area as well on the 14th we have mercury that is going to be moving into the seventh house too and the 24th uh, venus is also moving here so there's a big focus on your seventh house that's coming in here so it's going to be all about relationship big focus on relationships for you for this month and then you've got on the 24th, Pluto will be leaving this house, uh, moving into your 8th. So over the next 20 years, there's a big transformation of money. This could be a sense, Pluto is like the phoenix, so this could be a sense of you losing money but getting it back by the end of the transit, whether it be to buy something big or, um, or taking a loan out, but there's some sort of death and transformation to do with money, it's inheritance um, that's coming up for over 20 years. When we say death, we mean like an ending to something. We don't mean necessarily, it doesn't mean death. Um, it will later in the year come back into the seventh house and then it will move permanently into Aquarius by November, win November. When I look at the cards here, I feel like you're trying to bring back memories of once something that once was. You're trying your best to, it's like we're wanting to start fresh, the year fresh, starting like a brand new day, brand new year. We're trying to clean up the mess that's that has been the last year of you trying to make something happen or build something where it hasn't actually come together for you, you Cancerians. I feel like there's a sense of wanting to go back in time to be like maybe with someone or um, a relationship that was better before that's now maybe not as good, but there is also a sense of wanting to be with someone like a soulmate energy here as well, where you, where you belong or feel more loved um, to that's coming up here. Um, there is a sense of like, even like waiting for someone, trying to create a balance in relationships. Uh, there is a sense of, but I feel like it's a sense of wanting to be with some sort of like soulmate that's coming up here. Someone who really gets you, someone who's like, you feel very much full, like, a full, like very whole when you're with them. And there's a longing to be with them as well. I feel like that there's a, always an element of divine timing with these things too. When I look at family for you guys, I do feel like that there is a sense of, I would say achievement, but there's also a sense of everyone getting along, like everyone dif everybody's different in the family here, but they're getting along. Um, there's also a reflection of, you know, there's, a, there's this reflection of like opposites that's coming up too, but trying to make it all work. And I feel like they're all blending for you. When I look at your work here, it's like you're climbing a high battle that's coming up. You're trying to create like a nesting. I don't know whether you work for a family or some sort of family environment here at work, but you're trying to like make it your own or a nesting here. But there's a, you've made it to the top. So I feel like there's some sort of achievement coming up for you for this month here, Cancerians, because it's been hard work. It's been a big journey, but you've made it to the top and you're feeling quite pleased with yourself in where you have made these accomplishments coming up for you. Um, when we look at your friends, it's like, it's like time's running out. I feel like that you're outgrowing the friends that you're with and there's a sense of wanting to step in to new friendships and you're you're ready for it. Um, maybe these people are holding you back a little bit, but the sense of moving forward. I feel like with money, we're saving up for something, we're accomplishing things here. We're really focused on money too. There is a sense here of wanting to be alone or you're going inward to be guided to that's coming up here. Um, whether or not you're looking at a different at like source, spirit, retreat, going somewhere that's really like solitude. I just feel like you're trying to like do some soul searching here this month here, Cancerians. And I feel like that you might feel like things are never ending. It's constantly always going. But at the same time, you know, there's a applause here. There's credit of a job well done. There is a sense as well with health, I feel like upset tummy or there's up, something upset that's sort of going on around this area, like around and around, I feel like it could be nerves or it could be anxiety. I feel like you are trying to get like in shape, you are trying to do more exercise, 
Um, this could be a year of making a fam family or baby news coming up for you as well. Um, this year, you're concentrating on your health and physical health and trying to create this sense of um, for fullness around you too that's coming up here for you Cancerians. To see what else I can get for you. Cancerians, this is a, a month where you're feeling fully charged to start the new year fresh. You're wanting to make big big new changes in your life. You're also wanting to leave out negative things. You're trying to move forward in all areas of this life. You are wanting to accomplish so much more than this, this year than last year. You're moving in the right direction. For there will be setbacks later in the year, but for now you're moving full straight ahead. Okay. Thank you for your likes, shares and comments, and I'll see you for my next video. So bye for now.